Good Margunas and Guna Babies. No games here. You see what it is on screen. You see what it is. This is going to be a reaction video straight up and down. Salute to Terry. Yeah, man. On the, on the, what's it called? On the terrace there. Yeah, man. Big him up every time. But this video here, oh my God. Like, it's crazy. So, with all that said, you know what I'm saying? With all that said, nah. Run the intro, you know what it is. Like, subscribe, all the good stuff. And we'll be right back, people. Are you ready? Let's go! On the sofa, proud of North London, gotta represent. And I'ma tell you one thing, watching games live always brings me closer. But I would rather watch at home on my sofa, yeah, yeah. Chance is the name, football is the game. Gooners all day, you know that it won't change. So stay tuned in, cause the party's never over. Get it hype, this is Gooner on the sofa. Gooner on the sofa, let's go. Real women love Gooners. Okay, people, so we're going to get straight into this one here. Yeah, straight into this one. <laughs> oh, my God, this is hilarious. Check this out. I'm, I'm going to let it run through, and the odd little thing, I'm going to jump in. Yeah? So let's go. <laughs> I beg you, please, wait for it, 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 wait for it. I'll say Man City edged it. We're, the, we're slightly the better team. But again, Arsenal had the better opportunities. And I'm going to go to Kai Havertz. No. He had the better opportunities and really this game shouldn't have gone to, to penalties. <laughs> so wait, you're picking on Havertz, yeah? Not Haaland, not 50 goal Haaland, who was in Saliba's back bomb cart pocket. That's not who you're going after. You're going after Havertz. All right. <laughs> I love it. The season hasn't begun. Terry's the season hasn't begun and the delusion has set in. Their Arsenal hate is seeping through their pores. Listen, I'm not an Arsenal fan, but I enjoy watching it. It's fun. It's hilarious. Arsenal win a game <laughs> and they focus on, well, they shouldn't have even had to have gone to penalties because they should have finished the game off. But you've just said that Man City were the better team, but you're blaming Arsenal for it going to penalties. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. You can't buy this, blood. And after 90 minutes, he should have. I mean, Kai Havertz, look, Arsenal fans can have their sound this, but he can't hit a barn door. You know, there's. Uh, and you could. And you could, O'Hara. Shut your mouth, blood. Get me? Shut your mouth. The only people you can talk to, you can talk to, is Jason Cundy. I don't know if he's won anything, but you can talk to him as your brethren. You can talk to. What's his name? The Villa guy who's up there. Agbogdo Hall. You know what I mean? I, I know what he's done. I know his honours. I'll never forget his honours because his one honour is in my birthday month. That's it. That's it. That's what he got. Play, uh, player of the month in November sometime. That's what he got. O'Hara's like, I'm sure he's one of the he's one of the last ones to win something at Tottenham. Like, who are you talking to or about? We know what he's going to give you. He's going to give you hold-up play. He's going to work hard, but he's going to let you down when it comes to the crunch. And when it gets... So he's going to give you hold-up play and he's going to work hard. Why did he say those two things like it was nothing? Why did he do that? Because he's a hater of Arsenal. Let's be real. Let's be real. There's a Tottenham brother there. He's a hater. You know what I mean? I know, say, I ain't a hater. I'm up for banter. You know what I'm saying? I'm up for banter, and if you want to be stupid, I can be stupid back. But I got Tottenham Bredrins. I de I'm defending that club more than I should do, but it's only when I'm around Tottenham, man, because I'm like, you men are a joke ting, blood. You get me? I have to stay on my principles. I have to stay on my principles because there's no way, there is no way you're telling me, hold on, let me see if I can switch this up here. There's no way you telling me I... My team, I'm going to be dissing my team on camera or in front of people so they can quote me. You know what I'm saying? Do like Terry does and you know what I mean? Edit, what, screenshot, bit, bit, but, but, and pull it up. 
That's why you have to think. People are thinking. But there are some people who are just shameless. You get me? And that goes out to salute to um, expressions and rants. They're man are shameless. They're shameless. They'll just diss you when you've won something. They make, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. You get me? But... <sighs> and look, I think most Arsenal fans have that reservation about Kai Havertz. There's no doubt about it. But I just... I find this with Man United and I find it with Arsenal. I want to get your opinions on this. Our clubs can win games, mm -hmm. but we still get criticised. Where if it was the other way round, if City would have won yesterday, nobody would be talking about Haaland having a bad game. As an example. Now, I know that he delivers most of the other times, but it isn't just with Kai Havertz. They do, they do it to Arsenal and they do it to Man United when our consistent performers have bad games as well. <laughs> It's, it's a joke. It's mad to me. It's, it's absolutely, it, it, it's it's crazy. How dare you? Hello, Brian. Benji, to be honest with you, mate. What? Uh, it was because... Oh, what, what did he say there? What, what did, Blackburn fan random, by the way. What did he say? Oh, my God. It's Bobby. Ben. <laughs> Is it Hackney Wicks Bobby? Shout out to Bobby at Hackney Wicks. Well, he he's the only Blackburn. I know him and I know one brother that I used to go to school with. And the only reason I know that he supported Blackburn is because he wore the shirt. He wasn't even like that at school. Just saw him walking one day. You know what I mean? Blackburn, like, raw. He was, used to respect man that picked them kind of teams there. Because where they at? You know what I mean? Where Blackburn at? Yeah. Watch him out. Tottenham man, because Blackburn can still chat to you. I see that's the levels. Man who done win the league, got relegated, still ain't made their way back yet, can still talk to them, man. It's embarrassing. But let's listen to see what this joker's got to say. Uh, over celebration police again. <laughs> I love it. Oh. To be honest with you, mate. Oh, over celebration, is it? it? Oh, it might be Rio. It might be Rio. Uh, it was because less 30 years ago, if that was a result, they would have shared it. Sorry, 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 sorry to keep... They're just saying stupid shit. 30 years ago, they would have shared it. That's, that's your, that's, that's your... Wow, that's embarrassing. Sorry, my phone's going off. Wow, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Talking about. 30 years ago, and they would have said it. Why, why did you phone in to say stupid things? This is why you shouldn't drink and and dial and smoke and dial. Like you need to know what you're saying, bruv. Embarrassing. Thirty years ago, there's loads of things you couldn't do. Couldn't pass the ball back. You couldn't pick the ball up. If you passed it back to him and using his team. It's the last two, and it hasn't bothered. I say he could have. Logically, it didn't affect them at all. So, it's... so a Blackburn fan for some reason hates Arsenal. Well, thirty years ago, this wouldn't have happened. But big up Terry, blood. Where is this Blackburn fan hating for? What have we done to you? <laughs> Fucking joke thing. Okay. Once upon a time, goalies didn't wear gloves. There was no yellow cards. You could pass back. Did I just say that? Undo achievements in the modern day era because the rules have changed for everyone. It's ridiculous. I'm confused. Get me. I'm confused. <laughs> not to mention, not even, you could even say 30 years ago because it's still popping off. You could proudly be a racist in the stands back then, bruv. You know what I mean? Easy. Easy enough biscuit when you want to try to go back. We want to go back for. We here. We played to the rules today and we won. It's just a frenzy, mate. And fair play. You so why, are you you what, why are you phoning in then? Why does it Terry, matter? Terry, it's just you, a friendly. It, but that means nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, Adam, let me ask you a question. If Black if Blackburn won it, are you an Arsenal fan? Who's oh yeah, Liam, sorry, you're a Blackburn fan. If Blackburn yeah, won yeah. it, we just celebrated. Yeah, I would have celebrated. <laughs> uh, these men are waste, man. You get me? Not Terry, not Benny. That caller is an idiot. You phone up to say it's nothing to celebrate. Benny spins it on you. If your dead team wins it, would you celebrate? Yeah, I'll celebrate. Fuck off, bro. This is why you can't talk with stupid. This is why I can't, I, I wouldn't be, I can't. I couldn't collab with just anyone. You know what I'm saying? I can't talk to stupid. You get me? Even if it's bad, oh, you're taking digs, da, 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 da. there's a level to the game. You have to make it make sense. You have to make it make sense. That's what I'm asking. You know what I mean? See, my like to talk to. You know what I mean? 
man like Terry I can talk to. There's certain man I can talk football with. Other people just they're just literally saying things. See, he wasn't celebrated. This is the thing. This is what fans do in 2023. If an, if a rival wins or achieves pretty much anything, barring the Premier League Champions League, FA Cups, League Cups, Community Shields, even one-off games, they're like, how, how dare you celebrate? That's disgraceful. You're over celebrating. You're going over the top. When you, if your team wins, you do exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Like, I'm going to call some gooners out here in this. Hold on, hold okay, on. So before before he does that, see, that's Terry keeps it a hundred. You get me? But um. This is what I'm saying, All right? If you look at the pyramid, yeah, look at the pyramid. As I'd say, the champion, the championship, yeah, they like to say it's the hardest. I say it's very, it's probably it's very challenging. It's very difficult, but I don't think it's the hardest. The Premier League is the hardest. Hence, people can win the champions, <laughs> win the championship, come up and not win a game up here and get slapped back down. You know what I'm saying? And then ripple effect. But what I'm saying is, if you look at the pyramid, the whole pyramid. There's teams in there that's never won nothing. You get me? You have generations of fans who've never seen their team lift anything. You know hear I me? Mean? That's that, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Yet you still support your team, and I salute you to that. You still show up. I salute you to that. You still buy the shirt. I salute you to that. Why? Because you know it's just, it's it's a game of ninety minutes. Anyone can beat anyone. Ninety minutes. Let's have a go. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a goal today. You know what I mean? These people are insane. These aren't fans, bruv. These aren't supporters. They're not even fans. I I mean, no, I call myself a supporter. I ain't a fan of Arsenal. I am a supporter. You dig me? You dig me? I'm a supporter. Fucking fans. Waste people, blood. Waste. Brian, before you leave the comments, I'm warm up back in Arsenal. This is about behaviour in general. There are Arsenal fans that said, I don't get why Man United fans are celebrating the Carabao Cup. Not me. Cup competitions of that size are pointless almost. Not me. It's a cup. You won it. Done. And it's a it's a main cup. You get me? We have the league. We have the FA Cup. And we've got the Carlin Cup. You know what I'm saying? Even though it switches up its name all the time. Whatever. And cup, whatever you want to call it. Coca-Cola Cup. Yeah, I'm that old. You get me? All the cups are something. You get me? Are something. Look at the way West Ham celebrated the weakest Euro League. The, the, excuse me, the weakest, or should I say, the lightest of the European competitions. They celebrated it like Waldo. Get me? They let, their, they let their captain go with a wave, blood. Thank you. You understand? Thank you. When was the last time they won something? Thank you. That's what I was saying to my brethren, Tottenham fan. That's what I said to him. You men, you men were in that. You men were meant to go lift that. You know what I'm saying? Lift that. And then you get into Europa League afterwards. Lift something, blood. You get me? Carabao Cup, Europa League. You get me? Now it's the you know, Europa League ain't the ain't the books one no more. It's now this conference thing. But I'm telling you, when you win it, you win it. Mourinho won it won the um the Europa League with Man United. Loved it. They loved it because it's a bloody trophy. How can people who don't win nothing tell you nothing? How can people who don't win nothing tell you nothing? No time for that blood waste. Most they're meaningless. These men were at the game on Sunday, and the community shield isn't as valuable as the Carabao Cup, in my personal opinion. But it's not the, the, the community shield is at the bottom. Community shield, Carabao Cup, FA Cup, title, Champions League, right? But I question the Champions League. I'm going to put Champions League on the same level as Premier League. Why? Because it is a cup. It's a cup game. It's a cup. And it's not only the, the winners. If it was only the winners, then it will be higher. It will be literally the top, the creme de la creme. It's only on top because of its title, Champions League. If it weren't called Champions, it shouldn't be called Champions League because there's more than the champions that are in it. That, that, that needs to stop or it needs to go back to what it was, which it won't because they just upgraded. So it's not going to go back to what it was, but it should be champions only. Excuse me, I know that's me, a gooner. We come second. You don't, you don't get in if it's the Champions League. You get me? Then second place should be Europa League. Third place should be Conference. You get me? Fourth place, you don't get none. Fifth, you don't get none. Real talk. I'm, I'm on that. But since it's not that way, we're in the Champions League, baby.
but you still celebrate it. This is what I mean. Everybody's so, I'm just going to call it out for what it is, weird nowadays. Being a football fan is a very, very, very strange place indeed. It really, Ooh. really is. Oh, oh, oh. There's no way Arsenal's winning the league. I'm telling you. <laughs> City fans are shook. Listen, they beat them in. What's wrong with these humans, blood? Why are they so upset? A league game hasn't even been played yet, and you lot are crying. Like, calm down. In a community shield, it means nothing. It will have no bearing on the season. We got Blackburn fans phoning in. You now got City fans. They ain't winning. They're, they're not winning league. They're not winning league. <laughs> they're not winning league. Every Top time forward. we lose the community. I think Jackie's had a few. Here we go on to win the league. To... And why are you shook? Why are you shook, Jackie? Today was so lucky. If it weren't for Carl Walker and whoever the Arsenal player was, flashing edge, would have won that game. It went 30 minutes over, Jamie. But it did. There was a clash of heads. You have to stop. Got a patch man up. And it was party, by the way. <clears throat> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Matt, really? I'm going to have to stop interrupting because they're just talking shit. <laughs> I'm gonna let Terry live because he's he's shutting them down. It, yeah, it did go over time, right? but that's the point of added on time. <laughs> because if there hadn't have been the injuries and the stoppages in the game, Arsenal would have scored that goal in normal time. But they didn't have the opportunity to because of injuries, substitutions, celebrations. So it was added on. Right. It's not lucky. It's actually fair. <laughs> I'm I'm confused. I'm really. You're not alone. I'm, bro. I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I'm dead, bro. I'm dead. No. The team, the winners, we lost in the future. Yeah, it was bad, bro. Three in a row. We lost three in a row. Yeah. Do you know why? No. Because we won the it's Premier League. Oh, you know when what? he's salty. You know when he's salty, his voice goes a little deeper. His voice goes a little What did he say? Really in a row. I'm sorry? They really should mic up the journalists at these press conferences so it isn't all echoey. It's horrible. Does it mean what? what? Losing this game. It mean you congratulate think? Arsenal. It's football. Sometimes win, sometimes lose. <laughs> sometimes win, sometimes lose. I love it. He's so a. Listen, <laughs> this man is the best manager in the world. But he cannot handle losing. And I'm seeing all this salt in the Premier League. And I'm seeing all these City fans say, oh, we don't really care about this. Pep cared. Pep was celebrating. Look at him celebrating the goal. Look at him celebrating the goal. So the best manager in the world cared, loses, But uh, it doesn't matter. Care. The game doesn't mean much. We won bigger things. The hypocrisy stinks. It's like morning breath mixed with coffee and poo. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulate my opponent. And he doesn't mean it. He don't, he's so angry. Time to celebrate it and yeah, just prepare. What do we can I say? So we're Manchester. Say you're gutted. Say you really wanted to win. Tell us the truth, Pep. The truth is, I because I, I, I'm, I'm not really taking that Pep salty, but you can see it a little bit, right? And because Terry's talking about it, so let's talk about it. He ain't salty because of the result. He ain't salty because of that. He's salty because it's Teta. You get me? It's Teta. Man who was under you just. Just come round and did something. Just come round and did something in the city's main stadium. Just came round and did something. Get me? Came round and did something. The, 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 what's it called? The student has become teacher. But literally, one game. Nah, let's calm down. A good team, but sometimes you always you lose competitions and games. So I want to say something. The exception is winter travel. Well, I want to say something exceptional. Oh, he's rattled, he's rattled, he's wow. rattled. He really is. He's really rattled. Let's go! Wow. Come on! It must have been terrible. Did he say that when... Did he say that four or five months ago? Did he say that four or five months ago when it was only United that had that under their belts? Don't think so. Get me? Don't think so. But he was talking about points and 100 points and all them thing there. Interesting. <laughs> All right, Robbie, what are you going to say? Cup was so big. Why didn't they play in it's the final? That. Man City won both of those, right? Yeah, so think. they look at it and they say the next biggest thing is the runner-up. Now, yeah, if the Carabao yeah. Cup was so important, was such a big trophy. I hope that someone is sitting in front of him that's been digging at him. That's why he's saying this, because it doesn't make any sense. 
it's just the way that things are. That's how it works. Excuse me. If if the winner of the league has done the double and won the FA Cup, that means it can't play itself, right? So the rules are second place gets that spot, not Carabao Cup. I don't see the problem. So and only reason that I can think of that Robbie's saying something like that is because someone who he's talking to is is giving him that uh, is poking at him. So he has to say something back. But that makes no sense. All right, that's, this is some fan fantasy talk. Mm -hmm. As what the United fans made out, then why wasn't it not Man City versus Man United? Carabao Cup. You only get a hundred grand. The community shield is one point something. It's almost each team. <laughs> White Yardy on there. Why is Terry laughing at White Yardy? I don't know. But um, the money doesn't make sense because it's a charity match, so the money's being given away. So you still get more winning the Carabao Cup. Why did you bring that up? I don't know. Let me let Terry talk, boy. What, well, Robbie? I love you, bro. I love you. You know that we met a few weeks ago. Had a good chat. I love you. It's just the rules, bro. <laughs> it, Man United don't make the the rules have been in place forever, and it's the it's always been the winner of the FA Cup and the. Swear, swear, because he thinks the um, Premier League play the charity game, and if the, the, the if a team does a double, it goes to the team that's second in the league. I don't understand. It, are you claiming, Robbie? Are you? I need to ask this question. Viewers, let me know. Is 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 Robbie claiming that the Community Shield is a bigger trophy than the Carabao Cup? Is that what we are doing? I hope not. Because if <laughs> <laughs> if we are, <sighs> I'm all for it. Why? I'm all for it because that means Man United now have more trophies than Liverpool. We have more <laughs> in English football history. I'm down. I'm in for Terry, it. Terry, he's like, How yeah, he's down because that means <laughs> that means Man United got more trophies than Liverpool. I like that. I like that. And we got a couple of shields too, so that puts us up there. That puts us up. So whatever, man. <laughs> whatever, whatever, man. It means a few things. It means anyone else who wins it in future, we have to recognise it. <laughs> It means Jose Mourinho really did win a domestic, uh, sorry, a, a treble <laughs> at Man United because he won the Community Shield, uh, Carabao Cup, and the and the uh, Europa League. So did he really do a treble, Robbie? Come on, bro. I know you hate Man United. I get it, right? We we hate Arsenal. Arsenal hate us. It's how we are. And I think it was quite significant that you came back from behind and and, and, and it was good that Arsenal won. I've played it up. I haven't played it down. Appreciate are we it. really moving into a world, really, truthfully, honestly, where we're saying the community shield is now bigger than the Carabao Cup? No. Damn! No, we are not saying that. Like that. I guarantee you every single player in that dressing room, actually every single player that's a footballer, yeah, that in any dressing room up and down the country will have seen him racing after Maguire and shouting at him there and gone, nah, that's bang out of order. That. I think Maguire and Anana. What? Be on. What on earth is he talking about? I've seen him. If a Rexon, why has he got that top on? That should, be, that should be something about the contract. You can't be rocking a Man United top when you are a paid professional for another club. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You get me? Show some fucking class, bruv. It's embarrassing. So stupid. There's no goalkeeper that hasn't shot at it. No, there's none. There is none. They can talk all they want. People can say all they want. Oh no, he's more of a quiet guy. There is there's no there's no one goalkeeper ever in life that never shot at his defenders or whoever messed up made a mistake. There's no way. Just shut up. And the person saying the stupid talk is a goalkeeper. But he used to play for Man United, so let's see what Terry's talking about. As tight as they might have been now. Without doubt. If I'm Maguire, right, and somebody's doing that to me, I'm going, what are you doing, you dickhead? Can't... I can't have... Listen, again, big respect to Ben Foster. No! Big respect to Ben Foster, what he's built, the podcast he has. It's all very, very good. You know, and I'm, I'm not... Everyone knows when I do these fan channel reviews, it's not about beefing people. I'm not into yeah, that. I'm not... a 37-year-old man. Not about that life. It's not a beef thing, Terry. He's changed shit. 
He's chatting shit, and I hope you're about to expose him. Because I, I, I don't watch Ben Foster, you know I mean? So you must, he played for you, so you must know. Get him. Get him. But this has to, for me, look, I know he's a professional football player. So he's given us insight that I don't have. The same as he couldn't tell me what it's like to be a kickboxer. Because he's never been a kickboxer. I have. Right? But I, th the reason why I think this Onana situation is being overblown is I see footballers shout at each other all the time. All the time. Equally, I see Man City's players shout at each other a lot. A lot. Over the years, under Pep, I've seen them fight, argue, not physically scrap, but get in each other's faces, berate each other for mistakes. I've seen Haaland a hundred times last season shout at his teammates for not passing him the ball. It doesn't break their harmony. Maybe he's a po maybe his teammate thinks, oh, what are you shouting at me for? It doesn't break anything. It hasn't ruined the team's spirit. I've seen Pep Guardiola, the manager, scream at his players. Doesn't, his players don't stop working for him. And I use Man City as the example because right now they're the pinnacle of English football. They're the best team in English football. But I've seen the great Arsenal teams, Man United teams. In fact, Ben, like, I've seen Ben Foster shout at his defenders. I've seen him do it. I seen him do it in a Man United shirt. I saw, I was at the very famous Man, Man City, Man United derby game, Michael Owen winner when he was in goal. And I saw him get shouted out for, Thank you. for the first goal City scored. I saw Rio get shouted out Thank you. for the equaliser from Bellamy in the dying minutes before Owen went and Appreciate scored the goal. Shit, bro. This Onana situation is the maddest thing I've ever seen in my life. I have never seen a goalkeeper criticised for berating his centre-backs when everyone else before him has been praised for doing it. Peter Schmeichel. And I've never seen a sweeper-keeper condemned for being off his line like every other single sweeper keeper in the history of that tactic, that 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 role as a goalkeeper. But suddenly Onana's doing it at Man United and there's a big problem. And I don't get why. I don't understand it. I'm I'm genu genuinely confused. You know so why? Yes, help me out below. It's the hate. Uh, listen, fan channel review is here to stay for the remainder of the season. Make sure like buttons are hit. If there's anything you see on socials that you want me to feature on this show, send me a DM, send me the link. Let me know about it, and, and, and we'll do our best to feature it. Uh, links to all the channels, uh, the fan channels that featured in the show as ever. Uh, big up, Terry, for them ones there. You know what I'm saying? Big him up, big him up, big him up, big him up, big him up. But my peoples, my gooners, my goonerettes, and my gooner babies, we out of here, man. That was the reaction to Terry reacting. Get me? <laughs> Terry reacting to the world that we call football madness out of here. Absolutely insane but i'm out of here people i'm gonna go and chill out and relax myself don't forget as always like subscribe all that and good day good day and good day 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 just no for the city i'm leaving just for losing on the sofa the pride of north london G-O-T-S Gang Gang Go on all day you know that it won't change so stay tuned in cause the party's never over get it hype this is Gooner on the sofa